Now, with you giving back, is that something that you've always kind of been like about, or is it something that as you've grown, you've kind of like just wanted to give back because of the success you had? What kind of sparked it's, that with you? Good job. Yeah. You're pressing your vibe. Yo, what up, guys? It's Gary Vee, and it's time for the Daily Bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. stuff going on today uh, i was supposed to do a um podcast with babin at 9 30 uh, but he had just sent me a um, dm this morning saying he had to move that so we're rescheduling for next monday he said he had a meeting that came up with gary i was like eh, that's probably probably a little bit more important probably a little bit more important than our podcast um but i still got a podcast at two and then i just got a on a freaking, I got literally need to sit down and stare at my computer for like four hours, unfortunately. Hmm. And I got another podcast that I'm on at three. And that's pretty much it. Other than that, I mean, it's literally like I just have so much freaking planning stuff to do today. Busy freaking busy work. Like, I mean, I got to do an expense report that I haven't done in over a month. I got to do, um, I gotta take care of some tax stuff. I gotta uh, get some scheduling stuff done for some places I'm gonna be working at here in the next few weeks. I've gotta just a million different oh. random things. Hi, right, can you hear me now? Hey, Logan, can you hear me? All right, what's up, everybody? This is the Breadwinner Podcast, and this is your host, Tyler Harris. I'm extremely excited because we've got a guest here, as always, and today one is a special one, and it is Logan Cohen. And let me go through a little bit of background on Logan, but we're going to let her tell her story and give a little introduction in just a second. But Logan's an intra- entrepreneur, influencer. She was Forbes 30 under 30, a uh, lot of different things she's got going on. Uh, but I'm extremely excited for her to talk about her current venture, uh, Kudzu, uh, which, in my opinion, is basically bringing students and schools together uh, for the benefit of, of students and education performance and just their overall quality of life. It's really cool. It's kind of like, in my opinion, the Bitcoin of like childhood education, which is, which is really cool. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, but let's bring her on real quick and just let her give a quick introduction of who you are and, and where you're from and all that good stuff. Hey, what's up, Logan? Hi, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So I appreciated the intro. You said it in a nutshell, because it's the great based Bitcoin, basically. Uh, we reward students based on academic achievements, overall good habits. I'm a co-founder as well as the CEO. Uh, Kudzu launched uh, about two and a half years ago. Uh, we now have over half a million students. We're in all 50 states, and they can wow. submit their report cards or daily attendance. They get a currency called Kudzu Cash that they could use to go shopping. That is awesome. So let's just jump right into the first question. So what I want to hear about is your first kind of entepreneurial experience. What was that like? Oh, like first ever? Like first or- ever. I mean, it could be like <laughs> lemonade. It could be, you know, selling candy at school or what was the first? Yeah. So I was one of those really cool kids that loved alliteration, and I <laughs> came up with a proposal when I was like seven for Logan's Leash Club, wow. uh, where I actually put flyers in all of my neighbors' mailboxes, but it was really just an excuse to get paid to like pet other dogs. <laughs> uh, but I actually had a subscription service that if they paid monthly, it was like discounted and stuff. So that was my first entrepreneurial journey. That is awesome. One thing I want to commend you for, I remember when I was at Take Ownership uh, with Gerard and, and E.T. up in Newark, and I think someone had said something like the day before, like the first day of the event, they're like, we need more female uh, entrepreneurs up on stage and talking. And I'm pretty sure he didn't he give you a call like that night. And, and you came <laughs> yeah. like the next day, like on the spot, no preparation and just owned it, right? 
<laughs> yes, thank you. It was so much fun. I mean, they FaceTimed me. It was the whole founders team, so it was such an honor. But I was so hype on that FaceTime call, like, yeah, we're going to do this. Then I looked at the clock, and I was like, it's 10 o'clock at night. I'm speaking in like 12 hours. Like, I got to write this thing. <laughs> That's awesome. I remember being so impressed. I was, I think I was on the front row um, when you were talking, that, and, and Gerard was literally like, I called her last night, and she was like, yes, I'm in. Let's do it. So that's that's awesome. Um, last two questions, and it's really kind of just some housekeeping questions. Who is one person that you would like to hear on the Breadwinner podcast? Ooh, I, I well, you know what? I mentioned her before, uh, Jessica Santana. She okay. is just all around mm-hmm. boss, um, and she's has a strong mission. Teaches kids um, all around New York City to code. Awesome. That, that's to code. To code, yeah, that's awesome. uh, organizations New York on tech, but she's yeah. she's got that business too. So that's, she's that's total awesome. Awesome. No, we will definitely do that. All right, welcome, little hustlers, to the Live Your Lifestyle podcast. I have Tyler Harris with us. In 2014, he was unemployed. In 2015, he made 300000 2016, he made 450000 and kept going up. He's one of the best insurance agents in the game. He went from broke to millionaire in three and a half years. He has two podcasts called The Breadwinner and The Sales Wolves, as well as a daily vlog called The Daily Bread. He gives the best value. People would pay thousands for the knowledge he gives out for free. But you guys hear me enough, so let me get Tyler on the call. How you doing? Thank you for being on the show, man. Man, thank you for having me. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. So just kind of give an insight. Uh, to start off with just like a little bit about you, kind of uh, your story a little bit more so everyone can kind of know more about you. Yeah, man. So um, Tyler Harris, I'm, let's see, am I, 30, am I 33 or 34? You are 33. <laughs> 30, yeah, just turned 33 years old. Now, with you giving back, is that something that you've always kind of been like about? Or is it something as you've grown, you've kind of like just wanted to give back because of the success you had? What kind of sparked it's, that with you? It's been something I've always been about, man. Like I'm a I'm a Christian. Um, that's a big part of my life. I'm, I'm pretty religious. And um, nice. I didn't like the word religious. I'm just like uh, my relationship with God. Like that's a super important thing to me. And for me, it's it's tithing. Like I've always given 10% of what I make, um, back to the church. And the crazy thing is I did that on unemployment and I do it now. Like I've written checks for 30 plus thousand dollars in a like two month period. And I've written checks for $50, (laughs) you know, like I, I did it at all areas, but like when I was really struggling and broke and in debt, like I never went without, right? Like I was never not provided for. Like I always had food. I always somehow made things work. And so many times like I've I've given and then things have happened almost to the penny where I've gotten it back. Like like, you know, gave when it like when you give and it's a little uncomfortable, like like ah, I know I want to do this, but man, it's kind of uncomfortable. I don't know if I should. And you give anyway. Sometimes where I'm like, I have something that pops up that I'm like, crap, I got to pay for this medical bill. I didn't realize like it's, you know, $642. And then all of a sudden I randomly, like, I think I'm going to have to pay extra on taxes in that year. And I randomly get a $642 tax refund on the state. Like, like, like to the penny, (laughs) like, like things like that have happened throughout my life. Um, and this just, I mean, for me, uh, that's just something like with my beliefs, uh, being a Christian that I think is uh, important that I just do. And, uh, when we give to a bunch of different charities, um, uh, different organizations that we believe in, our company gives to a ton of organizations that we are hands on and involved in. And I just think, I just strongly believe that to whom much is given, much is required. Uh, and that you're blessed to be a blessing, but you're also blessed by by being a blessing like like I've been blessed and so it's my responsibility to bless other organizations other people other things but by doing so I'm also then blessed because of it and so um, you know you you don't ever give with the expectation of like I'm I'm giving you this dollar to hopefully get two back somewhere down the road Um, but 
you give just with the understanding of by giving, you are um, just living out that life uh, that is going to come always back tenfold. 